Talking now with Ferris State football coach Jeff Pierce as the Bulldogs prepare to take on Northern Michigan this Saturday in the Superior Dome in Marquette. Coach, uh, your team coming off a 23-10 to home win over Finley. Your impressions overall about last week's performance? Well, you know, we didn't start off as strong as what we'd hoped to, and I guess that's been a little bit of our issue in the past few weeks. But uh, on the positive side of it, uh, as we prepare to uh, go through the remainder of our schedule, it continues to get more competitive, and uh, we can't panic, you know, when things aren't going exactly the way we want them to go. And every one of these football teams are good football teams, you know. So we started off the ball game against Finley, and it was kind of a battle back and forth, and and we missed out on a couple opportunities to score uh, in the first half and found ourselves at halftime behind, uh, which at that stage of the game really didn't uh, uh, put us in a uh, out of focus. Uh, guys came out in the second half and, and really got after it. We totally dominated them in the second half. I, I look at the way our defense played in the second half of that football game and they, they didn't get very much against us at all. I mean, we completely controlled the line of scrimmage and, and uh, put a lot of pressure on them and shut them right down. And, and then our offense started to click and, and take advantage of some of those scoring opportunities. You know, I look at yardage in a football game you know, we again had uh, close to 450 yards offense to their 200 yards. So, you know, that means that we had control of the game, but unfortunately we weren't scoring in all the situations we needed to score on. But uh, that's something that we will continue to work on. I mean, we're working some of the bugs out and some of the details. We have the ability to get a lot better as a football team, and uh, that's what we're striving for, and that's what we'll need this weekend. Talk about the play of your defense and being able to hold an op opponent to 10 points for the second straight game and, and the progress they've made. Well, you know, they, they've really uh, done a great job. I mean, we've got some great senior leadership there, and uh, along with a lot of young players playing around, uh, filling some of those gaps. But uh, uh, Matt Ryan, as a linebacker, led our team in tackles again and one of our captains in our program and, and made a great play on the interception, you know, one-handed grab type of thing, which was, you know, a, kind of a spectacular spectacular play for him. Uh, you know, second in the tackling is, is another one of your senior leaders with Jake Marino, you know, and Jake uh, has been very dominant on the line of scrimmage, and, and it's, it's nice to see that. Now, we uh, haven't had the opportunity to have one of our captains on this uh, on the defensive side of the ball for the last month uh, with Chad Wilson. And uh, he's coming back, should hopefully be back in the lineup here soon and will give us a little added boost, you know, to that defensive unit. But, you know, we're, we're really controlling the line of scrimmage. I mean, we're putting pressure on quarterbacks. Uh, uh, two of our guys are at the top of the conference with uh, uh, Jordan Morgan and Jake Marino at the top of the conference in sacks, and, and that's such a critical part of the game. And, you know, some of the younger players, uh, our secondary is pretty young right now. Now, especially with Chad Wilson not in the lineup right now and and they've really come along each week and 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 playing good football so you know it's that attitude you know we're going we're going to bend but we're not going to break and uh you know sometimes they'll get yards and sometimes they'll make football plays but uh when it's time to uh, uh tighten things down uh, they've done a great job doing that of course last week was homecoming a nice turnout of alums and fans at the game, I'm sure it was great to, for you to see a bunch of those guys and, and nice to give them a win as well. No question about it. You know, being an alum myself from Ferris, you know, uh, uh, homecoming is a special day. And uh, a lot of uh, former players that uh, uh, don't have the ability to play anymore live through, you know, the current football players in the program. And it was a great day. Uh, the weather was perfect. Uh, it was great to have a big win. Uh, it was great to see a lot of players back. I mean, we had a great uh, following of former players. And, you know, those are all very important things in your program. This week you turn your attention to Northern Michigan as you head to Marquette. What do you know about Northern Michigan and how are preparations going for Saturday's game? Well, Northern Michigan's a good football team. You know, uh, they, they handed it to us last year pretty good, you know, and uh, we're going to get an opportunity to go back this year and, and redeem ourselves. And I really think we're a different football team this year. Uh, Northern Michigan has played well. Uh, last week uh, had a disappointment down against Grand Valley and came short. And last couple of weeks they've come short. But uh, prior to that, you know, they've been playing really good football and uh, spent a lot of time watching them over the course of the week defensively and what they bring there. They have a good defense. They've got good football players up there. So uh, we just have to be able to uh, offensively uh, be able to sustain drives. We're, we're showing that we have the ability to move the football. We have to take advantage of opportunities when they're in front of us. 
Uh, defensively, you really have to be able to control the line of scrimmage and put pressure on a quarterback and, 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 and get him out of his comfort zone. You'll be playing this week in the Superior Dome. What kind of challenges does that present playing indoors in the Dome? Well, it, it, it can get uh, pretty challenging up there because you've got an enclosed facility and you give them a, the, your, their spectators uh, a reason to get excited. It makes it kind of challenging to hear and, and be able to function. But it's our job to keep them out of the game by what we do on the football field. Uh, it's, a, it's a great venue to play in. Uh, it, it's always fun to go up there and get after it. They changed their turf over uh, a couple years ago before it used to be kind of uh, – tough on the body and stuff like that. Now they've gone to a, a variation somewhat similar to ours, you know, in an indoor facility. But it, it's great to play in there. But like I said, is uh, we have to get out, come out of the blocks. We have to quiet their people down by the way we play football and, uh, and, and try to keep them out of the game. And as your schedule uh, continues to get tougher, what must you guys do to meet the challenges that are ahead of you as the season goes on? Well, we've, we've been facing this step at a time from the very beginning, and that's what we've talked about since, uh, since game one. You know, the most important game on our schedule right now is Northern Michigan University, and that's the one in front of us. And, and we need to continue to make strides from week one to week two to week three to week four, and as we go through this process, to be able to be successful and, and have a crack at it at the end. And our guys have done a great job up to this point. You know, it's great to win, you know, and, and, and we've, got, uh, uh, we've got some wins under our belt right now. We're not counting them right now. We don't want to do that. Uh, we'll use that for confidence, but uh, uh, we have to go out there and we have to work to get better each week and not take things for granted. The minute you do that, bad things can happen, and I've been real proud of our football team. Every day they go out to practice, they're working at getting better. You know, take it as a man. You know, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, but when we make mistakes, we have to correct those mistakes. So as we get uh, further on down the road and some of the people we're going to face in the future, we're going to be ready to play those people, and that's based on that daily uh, commitment to get yourself better and be ready for those opportunities when they come. Thanks, Coach, and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.